Is Sacramento trying to dilute the power of the black vote? That's what some in the Meadowview neighborhood say is happening now that current redistricting proposals include splitting up what's been a traditionally African-American stronghold. Groups like the NAACP, St. Hope, and Hmong in evading politics, along with several pastors speaking out today before the next meeting of the Sacramento Redistricting Commission. One of those pastors joining us now, Reverend Takoy Porter. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sansa Ray. Why gather all of these groups at your church, Genesis Church, this morning to speak out? Well, we are concerned about um, that many of you is once again being divided through redistricting um, to meet the population requirements um, that com commission is uh, putting out there right now to solve everybody else's problems. Um, so we want to make sure that our message was very clear, that they heard it before the final redistricting maps are out to keep Metaview together. Why doesn't it sit well with you and others in this coalition that you've gathered this morning? And I think we have some video of that for some of the Metaview neighborhoods to be moved into District 5, now represented by Jay Chenier and separated from District 8, led now by Councilwoman Mai Vang. Why, why is that not okay? Well, first of all, like, there's been entities such as my church and folks, our neighbors that have been in this district for over 30 years. And now moving from D8 to D5, what does a council person respectively know about our community, or the way things are done here? And we have to start all over again with that. And we're saying that, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be have our voices muted. Uh, we're concerned about our vote that we just went through uh, in 2020, that being taken away, um, having to re-vote again uh, with a new council member um, coming up and a new race. Uh, so, you know, we have those concerns and we're saying that this new proposed map does not work for us. It uh, silences our voices and, uh, and it silences our power. As redistricting happens at all levels all across the country, there have been complaints that some areas are being re redrawn to give one political party or the other more influence or more votes on purpose. Do you feel this Meadowview split is being done on purpose? No, I think it's more so of a you know, afterthought right now. Um, the meeting that occurred last week, you know, I believe it started from the north and they got down to the southern area and uh, they kind of ran out of time. They didn't hear our voices of asking us to, um, to keep Meadowview together, to keep the South Sacramento together, basically because they were concentrating on the needs of Midtown and Downtown and the Eastern District. And we just don't want to be the sacrificial lambs um, in this process. Um, we know that in the South area we have smaller houses, smaller paychecks, but bigger families. And we don't want to be said that we don't count um, in the future of this city as it, as it grows. And so um, we want to make sure that there's equity for South uh, Sacramento and South area, and especially in Meadowview. Now, when it comes to Meadowview, this is an area that we've heard about a lot when it comes to plans for the homeless and the kind of facilities that were maybe planned for that area and, not, and then not in an area like Natomas. There's a lot of concern about resources being located in that area for minority youth. How would you describe some of the other concerns of the Meadowview neighborhood that you fear might get lost in this process? Right. Well, we want to make sure that, you know, health care is a big issue to keep Kaiser within our district um, and other resources like that new development that's coming in the South area. We want to keep that in our district. Um, right. As you know, um, the South area has had the highest rate of COVID cases um, and the lowest vaccination rate. And so we want to make sure that um, we stop efforts like that, you know, results like that by making sure that we have resources to address those issues and more um, in the future. Looking ahead, some people might say, you know, watching you start this coalition and, and mount this fight to keep Meadowview together, there are problems in this area. This is the way it's been done, you know, all under one council district up until this moment. 
what's wrong with change? Would it be so bad if there were two council people that were working on this and fighting for resources that are still ultimately in the same geographic area? Maybe that would be better. Yeah, um, that's one way of putting it. But the other, um, other thing that we have to do is look at the strides that we have, we have made uh, by building these relationships and working with having a council member that we have chosen, that was chosen by the people. I believe that uh, we are making great strides right now in what we're, where we're at um, and overcoming the many of the issues that we had in the past. And I think that if we have more time to work it out the next 10 years, I think we could do much better um, by keeping MetaView together. And now that you're rallying the community, what do you hope happens when the redistricting commission again meets on the 16th? What are you telling people to do? Well, to let their voices be heard um, by sending an e-comment and let the independent commissioners understand that we definitely want to make sure that uh, resources stay in MetaView, that MetaView stays together. Uh, the, we want to be able to take advantage of the partnerships, long-standing partnerships um, that we've ex um, created through our time together and, and just make sure that, you know, voices are heard. So we want everybody to fill out an e-comment, make sure you send out your, the word that we want to keep MetaView together on December 16th. Alrighty, thank you so much for your time this morning. And again, that commission meets again on December 16th. And you can log on to the city website to find all of the links for how to register your electronic comment. We appreciate your time this morning, Reverend. Thank you.